And now with the area's certified most accurate forecast six years in a row, Chief Meteorologist Luke Zaffi. Clouds and rain showers at times for us today. We're going to have some more push through as we head through the overnight hours as well. Right now, though, not raining in Oshkosh. Take you to the Storm Team 5 Skyview Network, powered by Pella Windows and Doors. We're at 65 degrees. The rain showers are in far western sections of our viewing area. Appleton and College Avenue still dry, 63. But then we take you up to Sturgeon Bay. It's 57. And we've got some fog right in and around the bay. So that's going to be the other weather issue here for tonight. Fog near the lake shore in the bay. Down to about a half mile visibility in Manitowoc and also for Sturgeon Bay. So something to watch out for if you're going to be venturing out between now and let's say about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. Some light rain showers out in western sections. These are diminishing as they continue to push east. So we're not expecting heavy rainfall. Uh, but they'll slowly move east at about 20 miles an hour. And as they do so, probably around 11 o'clock or midnight, uh, we'll start to get some rain closer to the Fox River Valley and Green Bay. And then in the overnight hours, we'll have some scattered rain showers continuing at least into the early uh, commute time, let's say 6, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. So that could linger on at least for the start of your Monday. Some fog and showers tonight, as we just talked about, to lead off the weather headlines. It's going to turn wet and cool by Wednesday. We're talking rain showers and highs barely making it back into the lower 60s again. A little warmer as we head through the end of the week. Right now, let's check the conditions. 61 degrees, a completely calm wind, and the dew point's up at 60, so it's a little muggy right now. And when you get the air and the dew point uh, that close together, it's pretty easy to generate fog, and that's what's happening along the lake shore here at this time. Low to mid 60s out in western section, so we're spanning the 60s to mid 50s along the lake shore. Not a lot of wind. We do have a wind shift that will be pushing through here. It's actually a weak cool front, and that will begin to at least scour out the fog for our areas and communities, but push that line of showers through as well. So we've got another cold front there uh, draped across western Canada. That comes zipping through late Tuesday, and that is the one that is really going to drop our temperatures for the middle part of the week and also bring in a pretty good shot at some rain for that uh, late Tuesday and Wednesday time frame. So for tonight, expect scattered rain showers to continue to move through. We should get clearing by late morning or midday on Monday, and then just a few clouds mixing through. Uh, maybe a spotty shower tomorrow evening, but again, quiet weather by and large as we head through uh, tomorrow night and also for Tuesday. Our average high right now is 74. We should meet that uh, very close in many spots, even along the lakeshore with more of a west or northwesterly wind. Tuesday will be the warmest day for at least the next week or 10 days. 76 down to 61 on Wednesday, 65 on Thursday, and then by Friday and into the upcoming weekend, low to mid 70s expected again as we look down the line that 8 to 14 day period, that'd be June 17th through the 23rd, a pretty good opportunity for having below average temperatures. Days like Friday and Saturday, I think, are going to be more of the exception versus the rule for this summer, at least in this pattern. So for tonight, mostly cloudy, a few showers push through, low to mid 50s, and then for your day tomorrow, an early morning shower, then clearing with highs back into the lower and mid 70s. Tuesday will be a warmer day again, 76, but then plan for rain on Wednesday in 61 degrees. Thursday brings a few pop-up showers in mid 60s. And right now we'll keep Friday and Saturday dry as we try to get back into the lower 70s. Unsettled though as we head through this time next week. The Kagan Allergy Report for today. The pollen was high and the mold was high. And Twitter is where you find our forecast updates. All you need to do is give us a follow at WFRV Weather. All right. Trying to finish up a soccer tournament this weekend with my son. And uh, we were hoping those clouds were going to push out a little earlier than they did. But when they did, it was nice. Yeah, it was. You know, the back mm -hmm. part of the day today, not bad. But... Uh, yeah, those, those parental duties I know, on the soccer I know. fields and baseball diamonds today were a little rough. Absolutely. Yeah. Luke